Alright, so this is going to be a what's in my dock video. I've had a couple requests for this, so I won't make this too long, but um, you guys just uh, requested to see what I use in my dock every day, so well, we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll come in, we'll zoom in down here. Uh, first I have is obviously Finder. Um, just very basic, very comparable to Windows Explorer. Let's switch spaces here. There we go. Um, so yeah, here's just Finder, you know, nothing that incredible. Uh, down here we have Droppler, which is actually a very cool um, little, uh, I guess, plugin. It's part of this up here, this little menu bar thing. And you can, for instance, if I take a screenshot, we'll just take a, a screenshot of this. So now you have that over here. So now Droppler, Droppler lets you just come up here, drop it in, and it'll upload it for you. And it'll automatically copy a link to your clipboard. So we'll come up here, we'll open a text edit document. And now I now have a link for that. Now if I put that in Safari, you come up to this. And it works great with Twitter. Um, so now, as you can see, my image is now uploaded. So that's just a very cool little plugin, I guess. Um, you can also drag them right down here, which sometimes this is sort of buggy. Sometimes this will crash, like it'll drop something and it'll just freeze. But you can still drop it down here. So I, I keep this in the dock mostly just for that purpose. Next is the App Store. Very obvious. Here's the App Store. Nothing too uh, amazing here, but yeah, I assume most people running 10.6.6 .6 or later will have that in their dock. Here's Adium. This is my um, instant messenger client, kind of like iChat. I kind of just switch back and forth between Adium and iChat just because I like them both. I like just kind of like browsers. Some days I'll use Firefox, some days I'll use Safari, some days I'll use Chrome. It just kind of changes every now and then. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So next I have Safari, which you guys just saw. Um, Nothing too revolutionary now. I'm going to go to iTech City. And as you can see, Safari, this is my definitely my primary web browser. I like Firefox, you know, it's fast, but I just prefer Safari. And Chrome just doesn't have great Java support, so I kind of tend to stay away from Chrome more than I used to, but yeah. So now here's Mail, um, just my Mail app over here. Um, iTech City logos, yeah, sorry. So there's Mail. TweetDeck. Now this is great. This is how I manage both iTech City's uh, feed as well as my own. So recording a video now, yay, woo! So um, TweetDeck is a great application. It's probably my uh, preferred twi uh, Twitter client, only because, like I said, I can manage both accounts without having to switch. You know, so if I wanted to post something from iTech City, all you do is come up here and click that instead. So now I'm posting from iTech City. And I can uh, retweet. So, for instance, on my iTech City feed, I just it showed up. So it's very instant. Everything is just it works very well. It's a great Twitter client. I also like to use Tweety, but it's just not doc worthy. So now continuing down here, here's iTunes. Here's my library. Um, iTunes is always open. It's never closed. I have it set to just open when I boot up my computer. But yeah, so here's my iTunes. And that's enough of that. And GarageBand, I use this a lot when I go to um, make my videos. I do the outro music. I do my intro music all through GarageBand. So here's uh, the new story, uh, short tech story intro for iTech City. Little just short videos. If you guys haven't seen those, go ahead and check them out. So here's a song I made. Uh, I'll just play it real quick. It's short. Sorry, I'll stop. It's not quite finished, but uh, you, get, you guys get the idea. Moving on to Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is always in my dock. Uh, it's definitely my preferred video editor. Um, I do use iMovie on occasion just, you know, d just to get some different transitions every now and then, but I'd say 98% of the time I'm just using Final Cut Pro for the entire video. Here's just my uh, very short um, hacker or um, Sony uh, hackers thing for iTech City. Uh, yeah, it just kind of goes through. Next is Turbo.264 HD. This is a great video converter. Um, I finally this is I just got this right from the Mac App Store. Uh, it was it was kind of uh, pricey, but you know it's worth it for a good video converter because the only other video converter I have is uh, via Windows. 
and that would be Outlook. I don't even know if I have it installed. Yeah, I do. Here's Outlook for Windows. Again, not dock worthy because it just um, it's in Windows, and I don't like to have stuff from Parallels in my dock. So hence, there's no Windows app folder here. If you know, if you have Parallels, you'll know. But um, yeah, so here's Turbo.264 HD. I'll just go ahead and I'll add a clip real quick just to show you guys the main reason I like this. So we'll just throw in um, a video here. It's about 11 minutes, my playback demo from Yazsoft, very good software. And I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll scale it down a little bit. I'll just go to YouTube quality. Actually, yeah, that's just going to want to upload directly here. I'll just, I'll just go back to this format, that's fine. But watch how fast it is here. Watch my cores up here, keep your eye on this. See how I'm using about 10% of my computer-ish with the screen capture and everything? As soon as I start this, I'm using almost all, <laughs> about 80, about 80%. About as you can see, my cores, they just start to jump up, they go crazy. Because this does use all eight cores. As you can see, I'm converting at 140 frames a second, so it does do a great job. It's very fast. It, just, it really uses all, all of my eight cores. Instead, most just use like two, maybe three or four. This uses everything, so and my computer still runs smooth while it's going. Moving on, Photoshop CS5. Um, I'm not too good with Photoshop. Um, open it up here. I just do a few basic things, like all the graphics for my videos and everything. It's nothing too advanced, but I just I hope to learn more. But I just don't have time right now. iCal, I never I never schedule anything in here. Maybe once I get an iPhone, I will. But um, for now, I just kind of just keep it down there. So instead of having to come up here and view the date, it's just right here. So that I just mostly just for like a quick glance application rather than a, a, a full on use. Uh, system preferences always here. Just um, it's the easiest way to change. If I want to change screensavers, you come here. So then I have different screensavers. Um, just stuff like that. Bluetooth, different accounts. I can change my uh, startup applications like this. And now stickies. Um, this is just kind of some reminders over here. I won't show it because actually I could probably just make a new one. Yeah, here we go. That one, that one has some um, sensitive stuff on it, some personal things I don't want to show. But stickies is great. Um, you can just resize it to pretty much any size uh, if it'll let me. There we go. Make it tiny or gargantuan. Just post different things, little reminders. Very nice to have. Don't save. And this isn't always in my dock. This is just to let me know that screen flow is open and recording. So that's pretty much it for the applications portion. Now, just in terms of folders, here's my applications folder. Do some slow motion. Very cool. So there's just a quick look at my um, application folder. Although this application just got uh, recently pulled from my dock because I beat it. But I'll be doing a, a whole separate review on this game. It's pretty sweet. I won't get too much into it. But yes, yeah, so I have my applications folder. Next is my backup folder, uh, which is my backup drive, my one terabyte. You guys saw me unbox it when I built my computer. Uh, this just has everything. This has all my videos, all my music, all my pictures, documents. So if my main OS drive decides to just go bad, I can restore it. My, everything's just backed up already. I don't have to worry about losing anything. Um, however, that drive did get corrupted once, so I did lose everything. So... Um, just be careful that I have a backup of a backup. I do plan on getting another probably terabyte, terabyte and a half hard drive just to have the backup of a backup. Um, I believe in backups very heavily, so just back up your data, please. But yeah, so this is just a shortcut to my drive so I don't have to come up here and open it up every time. It's just right here. Next is my documents folder. Um, it's just different things. Convert X to DVD, another great program for Windows. Um, Final Cut documents, these are all just my uh, projects. So that's just my shortcut to my documents folder. Here's some snapshots from the iTunes visualizer. Very cool. Which is how I made my wallpaper. I just kind of layered them in Photoshop and made it uh, transparent. Let's see which one I used. This one. So as you can see, they're very similar. Uh, moving next is my downloads folder. And then my trash. And that's basically it for what's in my doc. So here's just a, a zoomed in quick look. And as you can see, I do have the zoom fairly low. I hate when the icons, like I've seen people that uh, get their Mac and never configure it and their dock is like wicked big. It just annoys me, so I, I can't stand that. And I have tried to have my dock on the side of the screen. However, I just don't really like it. I just like it at the bottom. 
And if you guys couldn't tell, I did remove the 3D look. I just made it a 2D like you would find if it was on the side. I just think it's less distracting. I do like the reflection, like the stock um, dock that comes with OS X. However, I just, I like this better. It is, for some wallpapers, this looks a lot better. But for some other, some wallpapers, the 3D looks better. So that's just a quick look at my dock. Um, if you guys want to show me yours, that'd be great. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. If you want to uh, request any videos, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. I'm at CPUKid. You can comment on this video. Check out iTechCity.org as well as um, iTechCity on Twitter at iTechCity. Also check out the short tech stories. It's a new addition to my channel. I hope you guys like it. I've only done one so far, but they're going to keep coming. They'll just be like random videos on a slow day, you know, rainy day. I see something cool. I'll make a video on it. So. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and please check out the iTechCity.com forums, or iTechCity.org forums, excuse me. Um, I do plan on doing a giveaway up uh, pretty soon. I'll have a, a separate video for that. So just stay in touch with uh, the forums. Um, and the, like I said, the giveaway, it will be based on, your, um, well not based on, but one of the requirements will be a certain number of posts on the forums. So if you guys want to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to have, I won't say how many, but you have to have a certain number of posts on the forum. So go ahead, uh, the forum is a great place for everyone to get together, so I highly encourage you guys to check that out. And that's pretty much it for this video, go ahead and show me your dock if you're interested. Even if you have like Rocket Dock for Windows, I'd, st I'd still be interested in seeing it. So that's pretty much it, thanks for watching.